This is Gina Davis in 1989, on the night that she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. But today, she no longer looks like this. In the late 1980s, Gina Davis quickly became one of the most popular actresses in Hollywood, with roles in such films as Beetlejuice and The Accidental Tourist. She then began to get leading roles in movies, and into the 90s, she had huge blockbuster hits with Thelma and Louise and A League of Their Own. And during this time, fans seemed to love Gina Davis. She was very tall, had bright red hair, and had a bubbly and fun personality. She was definitely one of the top five A-list actresses in movies. She continued to be one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood, but producers and movie studios stopped casting her. And today, Gina Davis is barely in movies. She no longer looks like the Gina Davis that we knew in the late 80s and early 90s. Today, Gina Davis no longer has that bright red curly hair. Instead, she has long, straight, dark hair. Gina was born in 1956, which makes her today 66 years old. And it seems that she has decided not to go down the route of plastic surgery and Botox, which is actually good because, as we all know, those actresses who are in their 60s and 70s who have Botox or plastic surgery done to their face it makes them look ridiculous and you can spot it from a mile away and it's completely unnatural and sometimes even scary. But Gina Davis, who lives in a normal house in a normal neighborhood in Los Angeles, who doesn't have as much money as she used to, will do things like everyone else does. She will go and run her own errands. Even though she doesn't wear shoes, she will do home improvements herself, or yard work. She'll go and get a drink herself. She doesn't have assistants or butlers or maids or people to do things for her. She does them herself because she wants to be a normal everyday person. And that's really what Gina Davis is today. She no longer has the career that she had in the 90s. She now has a career of a sometimes actor, and once in a while, she'll do a small part in a TV series or a movie. But for the most part, she really doesn't work very much. And she's no longer in demand like she used to be. So the question is, what exactly happened? What happened to Gina Davis going from one of the most in-demand actresses in the world to now barely being able to get a job? Well, there's several different reasons why this may have happened. In the mid-90s, she decided to make some action movies with her then-husband, Rennie Harlan, which didn't do so well at the box office, Cutthroat Island, and The Long Kiss Goodnight. After that, her career began to wane, and she got divorced from Rennie Harlan, and she never really recovered. So that didn't work out too well. And then, unfortunately, Hollywood has the reputation of not casting actresses as they get older. They're all about the actresses who are in their 20s and 30s. Once you get over 40 or 50, the acting roles for women dries up in Hollywood. She has, in some respects, been blacklisted by Hollywood. And one reason why, could, why this could be is because she has spoken out about older actresses not getting roles. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Gina Davis and her activism for women in Hollywood. She is trying to change the culture in Hollywood for older actresses. But as far as the way Gina Davis used to look and the way she looks today, yes, she looks very different, but she has been able to stay at the same weight and she looks to be healthy. And overall, she is aged very gracefully. So what are your thoughts about the way that Gina Davis used to look and the way she looks today? And what is your favorite Gina Davis movie of all time? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe.
and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.